Space. Today, we are diving deep with ChatGPT and the GPTs that it possesses. That's right, this is gonna transform the way you're using ChatGPT with these expert secrets. There was a recent update where uh, OpenAI, aka ChatGPT, opened up the vault, if you will. They had their GPTs behind a paid wall, meaning some of you were like, I don't wanna pay $20 a month. No, it's not worth it. Guess what? For the cheapies out there, <laughs> you got more features. Okay, you're gonna have access to the GPTs that are already created. Uh, and so today we're gonna go a little bit deeper because now all of you have access. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, in the chat, just put where you're watching from. If you're watching this on the Instagram, the IG, we're on Facebook too. So there's gonna be some screen sharing. It won't be cropped to the middle third. It'll be full screen, 16.9. So it might be a better viewing experience for you but you'll still be able to hear everything I say, I guess, in my voice and everything that I do, okay? So, GPTs with GPTs. Yeah, here we go. All right, so first, where do I wanna start up? Um, you can actually go to chatgpt.com slash GPTs. That, that's where you'll find the direct explore link, if you will. So let's start there. If I go there, I'm going to say chatgpt.com. There it is. If I bring this down a little bit, you can see. See the site? Boom! Goes right to it. Makes it easy so you don't have to get lost anywhere. Okay? Get lost in a in a bad... Get lost! Get lost in a, in a good way, I suppose, because you can still just explore these, but they are pretty well organized by topic. I've already selected some of my favorites and a few new ones that I have not explored yet. We're gonna explore them together. So the first one that I'm gonna recommend, of course, is gonna be the one that I created. It's called the Exclusive Buyer's Agent Expert. And as I talk about these, what I'll do is I'll put them in the chat, okay? This is kind of nice. Go like this, copy link, and I'm gonna put it in the chat on Facebook. Uh, I'll put it later on on LinkedIn. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, not many, many people do. <laughs> we were watching the playback on LinkedIn. I'm going to put the, put it in the comments here on Instagram. What's unfortunate is after the fact, it's not available. So I have to post it after the fact. Okay. Now this, and, and here's what's different. Just so you understand, chat GPT has a general knowledge base, right? And it's updated as of April 2023 and before. Now, anything that's happened after or any very specific knowledge, and, and I like to, a good metaphor might be like a home inspector uh, has a general knowledge of all things, right? If we're given a real estate reference. However, they are not an expert in mold, in roofing, in HVAC, in plumbing, in electric, right? And so... They might say, oh, well, you need to get somebody else to take a, a better look at this. Well, ChatGPT has a general knowledge, but it doesn't specialize in any one thing. And so I know that this is a big challenge for the real estate industry is exclusive buyer representation. And so what I did, I went in and, and if you have a plus membership, you can also create your own unique uh, GPTs that you can share. But I went in and I, I trained it on buyer representation. I trained it on overcoming objections. I, I uploaded all of the information that I could find in regards to the NAR settlement. And then as they release frequently asked questions or additional explanations or clarifications, I trained it and I trained it, I trained it, and I keep on training it. So it's an ongoing process. It's not something that if you're going to provide this, that you just train it once. You could, but the, again, it's not as up to date, right? I, I like to keep things up to date and, and keep it great. If you were a broker owner, a manager, a team leader, you could create your own GPT on systems and processes and, and things like that within your company, within your team, within your organization, All right? Great training manual <clears throat> so that they can ask it questions rather than ask you questions. You get what I'm saying? Now, you could test this out. But we'll do it together. In the comments, please just give me something uh, that you might have heard from a buyer recently. It could be an objection or maybe a question you have 
about buyer representation. Let's ask me and I will ask it and we'll see how it performs. My shoulder is off the screen. Let me fix this. Okay. I fix this like this. Anyone? Anybody got a question you want to put in the chat there? All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move myself again down a little bit. And I'm going to ask a question. Met with a buyer? No. I've been working with a buyer. And never discuss exclusive representation. But I'd like to now. What should I say? How should I handle it? Good morning, Linda. How should I handle it? Oh, okay, I see that, Joel. Uh, I'm gonna do that one in a second. How should I handle it? I'd like to now. Yeah, I didn't even spell it right, but it's fine. Look, I'll move so you guys can see it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Pew! All right, to introduce exclusive representation to your buyer, it's important to explain the benefits. Hold on, you're going so fast. Slow down. Clearly and ensure that they understand how it works. Here's a suggested, oh, I also trained it on NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, incorporating NLP techniques and leveraging the insights from the provided documents, okay? Build rapport and acknowledge the relationship. Start with a positive frame. I really enjoyed working with you on finding your new home. I want to ensure you have the best possible experience and the highest level of service. Continuing on, one way to enhance this experience is through an exclusive buyer agency agreement. This means I would be dedicated to representing you and your interests exclusively. Okay, again, I'll just move out of the way so you can see what, what it's saying. Providing with comprehensive market analysis, negotiating the best terms, and then use using the agreement frame. Okay, would you agree that someone, having someone fully committed to representing you can make a difference in securing the right home at the right price? Of course. Clarify the process, ad address potential objections, provide assurance with as if, present the agreement, and then details, detailed benefits uh, from the documents, representation, obligations, client duties. Okay, now I've uploaded uh, as many exclusive buyer's agent agreements from different states. I think I have eight or 10 in there that I could find. Uh, but you could, you see a little, little attachment there, you could upload that and say, help me to explain my exclusive buyer's agreement for my state or my region uh, better. Okay, but it did the conversation. But we have another one here. I want to wait until rates come down before I buy. Very common, right? I want to wait for rates. Um, help me, you have to actually give it more. Help me to overcome the objection of waiting for rates to come down before. The buyer wants to buy. Boop. Let's let it cook, baby. Here we go. Here we go. When a buyer objects to purchasing now due to high interest rates, it's crucial. Hold on. It's, again, it goes so fast. To address their currents em empathetically and provide a compelling rationale for why it might still be a good time, here's a structured approach using the ARP Acknowledge Respond Pivot Framework from Provided Script Book. Okay, step-by-step -step objection handling script. Acknowledge. And this is also feel found. Um, show understanding, tell understand your concern about the current interest rate is something a lot, a lot of buyers are thinking about. Respond before you hang up, or this is in person, I guess. Can I ask you a quick question about that? And then pivot. If there was a significant advantage to buying now, would you be open to discussing it? And then go into understand why do you want, uh, why you want to wait for interest rate to come down. It's a common concern right now. People feel the same way. This is feel felt found. Interest rates are indeed higher than they were in the past years. However, historically speaking, today's rates are relatively low compared to the long-term average. Imagine if we could find a property that meets all your needs and is priced competitively due to the current market conditions. How would that change your perspective on buying now? Highlight the benefit, one key advantage. Additionally, real estate trends tend to appreciate over time. So by waiting, you're actually going to buy a property that, that costs more, right? Offer financial solutions, buy downs, refinancing, things like that. Please, for the love of real estate, don't, I, I hate the, marry the house, date the rate. Ugh. 
icky. It's awful. I don't like it. This is better. Much better. Please, please, please. Okay. Uh, present a conditional statement. Let's explore some properties together. See if there's something that fits your needs and budget. All right. And here's an example script. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but here, what I can do, I went like this, create a link. When you create these, make this chat discoverable. Yeah, why not? Okay, copy link. And so I'm gonna put this in the chat. You'll all have access to this right now. There's no tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Esther. Um, one key conference. All right, so I put that in, the, if you're on Facebook, I put it on there for you. So that's just one, just one. We're just getting started, folks. Okay, this is the one I created. There's thousands, okay? But let's go to the next. Um, bring myself back into the picture if you're on Instagram. Hi. Okay, next one I wanna do is Dolly, Dolly. So Dolly is actually the image generator that GBT uses on the back end to create its images. Now, if you have created an image in the past, it'll give you one. And it, it's gotten better, but you want to use the Dolly. Okay, and if we went back to, remember Explore GPTs over here? Dolly's the number one GPT created by the ChatGPT team. Okay, all right, it's going to be better. So this morning, for this morning's live stream, and I, like I use this all the time, I said craft an image of GPTs walking around in a futuristic world, wide aspect ratio in a claymation style. Right, and this is part of why, again, why I like it a little better than GPT because it, it does give you, here, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. I'm gonna move myself a little smaller like this. There we go. Okay, my ears are in the way. <laughs> the story of my life, folks. Okay, so here are the images. This, and, and it gave it gives you two options. Now, one of the updates with, with ChatGPT and Dolly is if I click on this, I can download it, but if I click on it like this, I can use this little select feature at the top and change something. Okay, I could go like this and say, make this car red. Okay, and it's gonna recreate the image. It used to be we'd have to regenerate the image, but if there's certain things that you didn't like um, about it, let's see if it works. If there's other things that you didn't like about it, you can change it, right? So let's see. Whistle while you work. Oi, whistle. If you can name that show, we'll be good friends. Okay, that's taking too long. Okay, it's almost done. There we go. Don't fail me now. Made it red. It worked. I love doing things live because I'm like, is it going to work? I don't know. Yeah, made the car red. Okay, so little things like that you can change. But here, somebody give me an image that you'd like to create. Put it in the chat. Let's see what we got here. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to do... All right, I'm going to go to my go-to. Craft an image of a golden doodle. Walking on its hind legs. Dressed as a real estate agent. Showing a luxury home. Okay, so that's my, and you see here like these are different styles. You don't have to even like even think about it. Analog film, goth, gothic, uh, art nu nu nouveau, nouveau, cubism, claymation I did earlier. But then you also have aspect ratio, right? So I'm going to do, I'll do square this time. And then I'm going to do analog film because it looks cool. Look at that cute little kitty. Okay, let's do it. So. While that's being created, let's talk about possible use cases, right? 
if you're going to create or send out postcards, if you're going to send out emails, if you're going to create social media content, right? Part of, uh, I've given you these prompts in the past, but if you want them, ask again. Uh, look at my little, look at my little go doodle. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. Freaking so cute, right? I like to create images that are outside the box, but you know, you can create a table for social media content and say, okay, give me the idea for the post. Give me an, uh, an image prompt to create an image using AI and then also video ideas. And so then I would take that image prompt, bring it into this Dolly GPT and create it. I mean, look at this. How stinking cute, truly. Okay, look at this. How cute is that dog? Um, okay, I got I got one from, from Carolyn Sweezy. But I mean, I, I'm gonna download this because this is which one do you like better? If you're on if you're on okay, look over here. Got this guy. I kinda like this one. His body is not in proportion, I don't think. But I kinda it's so cute because I like the full body shot. Or right, I'm gonna download both of them because I'm gonna use them later on somehow. Okay, and it's downloaded is that easy? All right, now let's do, Sweezy said, uh, ferry crossing the Great South Bay in Sable, New York. Okay, this would be good. Ferry crossing the Great South Bay, and this is Long Island, for those who don't know, in Sayville. Sayville, Suffolk County, Sayville, New York at sunrise yeah yeah yeah. give it a little bit more context right and so let's do want to do analog film again yeah let's see what else we got night digital art analog film comic strip fisheye cyberpunk caricature can never say that word mm. i'm gonna keep going What was the other one we did there? Analog film style. I like that, we're gonna do that. Analog film style. Talking to the home of Kodak here. All right, let's do this. Pium, 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 pium. Trendsetter. Let's see what we got here, baby. Yo, come on, Sweezy. This is pretty good. Pretty good, I got to say. Okay? I love it. Look at that. And if there's something here you wanted to change, if you didn't like how the fairy looked or whatever, I still think um, it could be more photo photorealistic, but that's that low, what did they call it again? Analog film style. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, next one. That's the easy one. Okay. And again, if you're watching this on Instagram, hop over to Facebook, you get the full screen experience. Uh, if you like what you see so far, share it with a friend, please. Cause that's, uh, you know, we work hard at this stuff, even though sometimes we come up with it at the last minute, like yesterday. Okay. Next one is going to be photorealistic GPT. Cause I wanted to see, that was one of the things I felt like it struggled when I want like really like photo looking, uh, images. This GPT was called photorealistic GPT. All right. So I want um, let's do this cinematic photo of a night in mist mountains. Let's do that at evening before I generate the image, please sign in on Google. Oh, come on. I'm not doing that. Okay. That's going to delay my, my timing, but this is what we're going to have to do and proceed with your creating your, no, I'm just going to tell him no. Okay, I'll be back, but not today, homie. Some of these will ask you to sign up like on because it's it's a third party program that's integrated and trained in GPT. So they are trying to build their database, if you will. So maybe I'll do it later. We'll see. Next. Okay, viral every every time by Gen Genesis Copy Mentorship. This is for those of you that are doing videos. Um, you know. I did this this morning. I said viral hook for the start of a video that's a deep dive into using GPTs on ChatGPT. So I always have the same intro. Just good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah Shea Man Manero. This is a little, 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 little. Welcome to 18 Fridays, right? Now, when I'm going to repurpose this video on YouTube, I'm going to trim off that entire beginning 
un, until I get to the hook, which today I think I said, uh, un, unlock the hidden potential of ChatGPT with these mind blowing GPT tricks. Stay tuned as we reveal secrets. Even the pros don't know. Okay. You'll never use ChatGPT the same way again. But if you didn't, let's say you recorded a video and you didn't use a viral hook when you recorded it, you still could go back, record the viral hook. A lot of YouTubers do this, uh, or video creators, they, they record the hook and then they just stitch it together, right? Let's say you were at an event, you didn't record one while you were there, you get back home, you record it here. So it's viral every time by Genesis Copy Mentorship. Copy link. And you see, it gives you a bunch of options. Okay. ChatGPT is powerful. It gives you the hook. It gives you foreshadowing. It gives you the last line and then other elements you might use in the beginning. We good so far? Everybody's always wondering, like, how do you write the hooks? For years, I was like, damn if I know. Okay. You got to start with what's the pain point. Uh, but this makes it easy because it's been trained. The people that created this have written and created tens of thousands of viral videos and viral hooks. So when you're not good at something, find somebody that specializes in it and use their stuff. That's what a GPT, how a GPT can help you. How would I rate it? Five stars for you, my friends. Okay. Next on the agenda, video GPT by Veed. Okay. Um, let's create a video. This is an AI generated video. Okay. It's going to ask me, what is the primary message? Who is the target audience? What tone or mood are you aiming to achieve? How long would you like to, your video to be? Okay. So I want to demonstrate, demonstrate my unique value as an AI specialist in real estate. My audience is expired listings. Tone or mood I'm aiming to achieve. Um, Tone is emotionally engaging and uh, what I want to say, aspirational. Video is less than 30 seconds. Okay, just giving it some context just for demonstration purposes. Pop home. This is going to take a minute. I've done this before. What specific skills do I offer as an AI specialist that you want to highlight? AI, the only AI specialist in my area to help an expired listing sell just yesterday. And what's that? Do I have a call to action? Call us today, call to action to find out how we did it. Just sell yesterday for a record amount, for a record price. Okay, now as you're watching and we're segueing, please put any questions you might have in the comments because, oh, come on. We estimate the script will generate 15 seconds of video. Female, uh, female voice. Script is fine. Okay, were we cooking something over here? Where were we? Over here. 
Oh, no, we did all that. Okay. Allow. Okay, now it's going to start talking to v.io is the site that's actually creating the video. And we're going to move on because that's going to take a second. Whoa, you were too fast for me, bro. Look at that. I was ready to segue, segue, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, let's see. Um... We're finishing up your video, applying the final touches. Now log in. And I know I got an account already. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly, that's not dumb. That's a good question, actually. So for those of you, we all struggle with prompts, right? And if you're struggling with anything, the best advice that I can give you is to have an open conversation with GPT. Say, how I want to write a prompt. Help me to write a prompt about whatever it is. And it will help you. It will ask you questions. You answer the questions. It writes a better prompt. Truly, that's my best advice. When in doubt, ask the big brain known as... Chat GPT. Okay, I'm still logging in. Logging in. Oh, come on. Refresh the browser. You're welcome. Okay, got to accept and continue terms and conditions. What are we doing here? Do, 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 do. Hold on, I gotta play this. I don't wanna export. Let's just play it. As the only AI specialist in real estate in our area, I bring a unique advantage to your property listings. Just yesterday, I helped an expired listing sell for a record price. Want to know how I did it? Call us today to find out. Hmm. Not bad. Here, I'm going to export it just to see what, what it actually looks like. Um, export video. All right. Now, that, while that's working, we're moving on to our next one, folks. Now, you know I'm into fitness. You know I'm into fitness. And uh, not everybody has that. Access, access, access. Not everybody has access to a nutritionist or a trainer or coach. Dude, here it is. It's a PhD coach. It's trained on everything. So let's just say this, okay? I'm going to give it a scenario. Um, I am a 45-year-old active male. I weigh, this is not my real weight, okay? 190 pounds. I weigh 168. Uh, 190 pounds. And I run four times a week for around 20 to 25 miles and do strength training. three times a week for 60 minutes. I don't watch what I eat. I watch what I eat. I don't watch what I eat. And want to weigh 165 by September. Please help me. Let's see what happens. Give it as much information. And again, be honest, okay? Don't be like, oh, my my weight is, and it's your goal weight, okay? So nobody else is reading this but you. Here's what you got to do. Dude, this is so good. I would have paid a nutritionist so much money for this back in the day. 
To lose weight, you need to consume fewer calories than you burn. Given your current activity level, you need a mo moderate cal 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 caloric deficit. Caloric? Caloric deficit. <laughs> Less calories. Aim for a daily deficit of about 500 to 750 calories to lose approximately one to one and a half pounds per week. Protein. Aim for 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Okay, to maintain muscle mass while losing fat. This is all science, folks. The secret to losing weight is <laughs> taking in less calories than you, you burn. Okay? So carbohydrates, since you're running and strength training, maintain moderate carbohydrate intake to fuel your workouts and recovery. Fats, healthy fats should make up about 20 to 30% of your daily calorie intake. Nutritional guidelines, lean proteins, whole grains. Okay. Exercise plan. Gives me an exercise plan, okay? Sleep, stress management, micronutrients. Write me a meal plan for seven days. I don't mind repeating meals. Da -da 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 there we go. Day one and two. Greek yogurt with mixed berries. That's what I had this morning. <laughs> so good. So good, my friends. Okay. Now watch this. This is where your mind's going to get blown. Okay. Write me a grocery list for one month's worth of meals and give me the recipes for any of the meals that are easy to make. Grocery list, here it comes. I mean, don't act like you're not impressed, okay? Don't act. This stuff is like <laughs> mind blowing. Okay, look, I got, I've got recipes, I've got the grocery list. You know, I wasn't sure how today was going to turn out, but it's turned out pretty well. Sometimes these are just conceptual. Yeah, no excuse, Kimberly. Right? It makes it so easy because. I heard this for you. you can't out train a bad diet. And then like, I never knew um, for me, I'm just like chicken cutlets and some broccoli, right? This gives you a little bit of variety in your diets. It helps you with the recipes. You can even say like, these recipes are too complex. Make me some easier recipes, please. And it'll do it. Okay. So there's fitness workout and diet. I'm covering all of your things today. Mind, body, soul, everything you need. You're welcome. Okay. Next presentation and slides. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm dying to because look, as a speaker presenter, I spend a lot of my days and nights uh, creating presentations. Uh, even like the night before any, any, any time I speak, uh, especially in person, I'm updating my slides. I, I like to go and see the people and like go to events so I can kind of get a good vibe and feel for the pulse of the people it's hard to explain but then i'll make changes to my my slide deck that evening and so let's see i want to make make a presentation 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 about the benefits of an exclusive buyer's agent in real estate. Do, 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 do. Sylvia, what do you throw everything at? GPT? Yeah, I agree. Um, allow one second. Hmm, this is cool. All right, so that's cruising right along, depending on where you're watching. Okay, so here it's created my outline. 
benefits of exclusive agent in real estate, introduction, expert knowledge, dedicated representation, negotiation power, streamlined process, conclusion. Yo, the benefits of an exclusive buyer's agent. Slide two. It, it's this. This is crazy. Definition of the role. Okay, then here's the next slide. Searching for images. Talk to slidesgpt.com. Wasn't aware of what that is, but must be another one. So I can view and download each page. Look at this. Benefits of an exclusive buyer's agent. Next, I'll find an image for the dedicated represent representation slide. Okay, that's pretty good. So that was, again, I'll, I forgot to sh share the other one, but I'm going to put it in the link here. Copy the link. I'm, I'm not making money on this. As you all know, this is all free access for you all. But when you had the opportunity to refer me like Esther did, I work by referral as a speaker. So I appreciate that. Uh, here we go. Put that in power or put that in Facebook. And let me just go back here and do the fitness workout and diet. Here's that link. Paste there. And if you're watching this on Instagram, which doesn't seem like anybody is, but if you are, because I'll post the playback. You can go on Facebook and see this full screen. Okay. All right. Now, now, right now, right now, folks, the last one. What's the last one? What do I got? What do I got? What's my last one? Oh, yes. Universal Primer. The fastest way to learn anything. Let's go to a previous question that we had from Kimberly. And let's say, I'd like to learn the best way to write a prompt for chat GPT. Step-by-step -step guide to writing a prompt for chat GPT. <laughs> OMG, I'm going to ask it to write a prompt, to write prompts. Okay, it's using a lot. Use constraints, analogy, example. Instead of asking write a poem, specify write a four-line poem about the sea using a rhyming scheme. Yeah, I like that. It's giving me a lot here. I'm going to put this entire information in the, like I'm going to copy this chat right now, share it with you in the comments, and then you'll have access to this whole chat. And what a great benefit to sticking around to the end. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm going like this. Write a prompt to write prompts. Yo, I need to help create back the props. Okay. So once again. We are doing amazing things, and we're going to use some sound effects. Awesome! Oh, yeah. All right, so create link. Make this chat discoverable. Why not? Share it with the world, my friends. Okay. And I'll go like this. Paste. Add Sylvia in there. Thank you, Sylvia. It is an amazing tool. You are amazing. Real estate auntie. For those that don't know, Sylvia is my real estate auntie. Uh, we will say Titi in Spanish or Tia. She likes auntie. That's fine. Okay, so this brings us almost to the end. And the last thing that I wanted to do was explore the GPTs with you so that you could see all, all that, that is available so that you could go in and kind of do this yourself. 
right? It's it's organized, really well organized, and you can even have a search feature. But it has top picks by GBT, so it's GBTs created by the Chat GBT team. Usually start here. These are probably going to be the best ones. Dolly, I showed you. Um, hot mods. Let's modify your image into something really wild. Coloring book hero. While well, you might think like, why the heck would I use that? Think about you could create a coloring book on points of interest where you live. Take that, bind it together, and now you have, or take that, send it to the printer, and add your your uh, your branding on the front of it. Now you have a coloring book that you can leave at uh, businesses or or residences, or you could have it available for your your clients that have kids, right, to keep them busy. But how cool is that, right? Create your own coloring book and brand it. Uh, data an a a analyst, drop in any files that can help you analyze, visualize your data. This is great for market stats and statistics to help you interpret what's happening. Creative writing coach, just like it sounds, okay? Planty, man, this is a great one because I, I, I bought a house from a lady who was, uh, she had, our yard was designed by a landscape architect. She won awards for like garden tours in our neighborhood and stuff. I don't know all the stuff. My friends that are landscapers come over. They're like, oh, you have an Aurelia and there you got these peonies and this and that. I'm like, yeah, cool. Okay, but Planty will help you to identify that and then how to care for those. I'm also good like if, when you have listings to see when people invest money in their landscaping, they want to know that you know. <laughs> They want to know. Okay, writing. You have write for me, AI humanizer, writes like a human, less like a computer, humanize AI, AI humanizer pro. Productivity, Canva. The Canva, it's okay. What it's going to do is like, you'll say, you know, I want to create something in Canva. Here it is. I, I would rather go directly to Canva and do it because they have a lot of AI built in. Okay, but you have Canva, diagrams, image generator, the presentation one, that's what we just did. Slide maker, I haven't tried yet, but you know, none of these are gonna cost you money. Test them out, see what you like. PDF, AI, PDF, securely store and chat with all of your PDFs for free, no matter the size. Hmm. Store and chat with all your, that's interesting. So check that out. Research and analysis, so there's Scholar, GPT, Consensus, SciPace, SciSpace, Wolfram. This is really great for uh, math and computation. I've used this for uh, amortizing, like if you have somebody that wants to hold paper on a property, right? Amortize over 30 with a balloon payment due in five and things like that, or even uh, help me to analyze the difference between a 2-1 uh, a two one buy down to get the interest rate lower or a permanent rate buy down or what the current interest rate is, okay? You can do analysis like that. It's really awesome. Education, I just showed you universal primer, fastest way to learn anything. Math is fantastic for those of you who have kids. <laughs> I need help helping my kids with math. My 13-year-old, I'm like, shoot, I don't know how to do this anymore. I told my teacher I would never need this in my real life, and she used to kick me out of class for it. But now uh, there's GPT, okay, to help you with all this stuff. Lifestyle, astrology, birth chart, I, didn't, I, don't, I wouldn't use that, but maybe you will. Um, deep game, the fitness, that's the one I showed you. Travel guide, ooh, this is a good one, okay? Song maker, create music using musical theory. Programming, I'm not gonna use any of this, but there's a ton of this for code and, and, and Python, and it already creates code for you, but these are more advanced. And then you can go from there. There's actually more, see more, see more, <laughs> see more, okay? So what questions do we have, anyone, anyone? What I'll do, I'm also going to give you access to my AI chatbot that I created. Uh, it's trained in all the things real estate related, overcoming objections and things like that. I'm going to put it in the comments for you all. And here's what I want to say about uh, AI chatbots. We create them. We have a company called Big Brain Chatbots we're a partner in. Uh, this is going to be the ultimate solution for you in the future to discuss compensation off the MLS. You heard it here first. There's going to be some people, there's some areas where they have websites that people are, are going to be sending their listings to. I think that's not going to be the thing, you know, and to rely on agents to answer their phone to discuss compensation. 
I don't see that as being realistic. Okay. All right. Well, if you learned something, share it. If you didn't learn something, share it anyways. That means you weren't listening because you got to watch it again. Okay. Jeremiah's J Man Monero, J Man Speaks. Make it a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I've done many things in life, but being a father is one thing that I am proudest of. So make it a great day.